the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we now enter into the sacrament of marriage, we go before our God as family and friends in church, and we pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on these your servants, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to the Word of God. Of Tobit. Tobias and Sarah began to pray and implore that they might be kept safe. Tobias began by saying, Blessed are you, O God of our ancestors, and blessed is your name in all generations forever. Let the heavens and the whole creation bless you forever. You made Adam, and for him you made his wife Eve, as a helper and support. From the two of them, the human race has sprung. You said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a helper for him like himself. I am now taking this kinswoman of mine, not because of lust, but with sincerity. Grant that she and I may find mercy, and that we may find time to grow old together. This is the word of the Lord. I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. 
and if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions and I hand over my body so that I may boast, but not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. The word of the Lord. Love. And it's not that romantic love that I'm talking about so much. 
that deep respect for each other, that you can grow now as one. Doesn't mean you lose who you are, because that would be a sin to lose your own personality. You become one, but you still maintain who you are as a man and a woman. And, but what happens now in this sacrament is that Jesus is present to you. And you know, he was present to you as you were a little toddler, you know, crawling along the pews here and causing a ruckus, uh, and he's still present to the both of you at this very moment. And it's important to realize that, because that's what this is about. This is about Jesus being present in your life and how he is going to continue to bless you. There will be the good days, there will be the bad days, there will be uh, healthy days, and there will be days of sickness. There will, that's the story of life. And we hope that you'll be able to come back here in 25 years to celebrate your, your 25th year of, of happiness together. I won't be here, and a lot of you won't be here. Remember, when I first came here to meet you, I didn't need these to read. So things do change. So, but that, that's our prayer, that's our, our celebration today. And all of these people who have come because they know either the two of you or they are family or friends or friends of the family, and they've come here to pray with you. And, and that's important. This is a religious celebration, and they've gathered themselves around you. And that's a sign of love, that's a sign of respect, and that's a sign of care. Now you are about to become your own family. That, I know, scary, huh? <laughs> but that's the charge. And that's why you've come to the church, because in doing so, we only help in doing that, you know? Um, <clears throat> that your parents on both sides here needed help, they didn't do it all by themselves, and uh, they did it with the presence of God in their lives, and, and you will too. And so you've got great things ahead of you. You're still, well, relatively young, and, but you have great things coming in your future. And as you begin this new family, you should be excited to know that, that Christ is with you. He's, he's going to be there with you. So our, our prayers and our blessings are with you today. Our congratulations and our love and our concern are always with you. Wherever this marriage will take you, to whatever country, or to whatever town, or city, or village, or whatever you do, you will do it together, and you will do it with your family and your friends. <laughs> But most importantly today, we recognize you do it with Christ. I 
Let us now offer our prayer to faithful. Watch over those who have joined in a sacramental covenant 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation, always and every way, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in Him you have made a new covenant with your people, so that as you have redeemed man and woman by the mystery of Christ's death and resurrection, so in Christ you might make them partakers of divine nature and joint heirs with Him in heavenly glory. In the union of husband and wife, you give a sign of Christ's loving gift of grace, so that the sacrament we celebrate might draw us back more deeply into the wondrous design of your love. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with our end, we now acclaim you.
our
Try not to breathe on people. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Ye